It's not even a combo. It's a combo. <laughs> it's a combo, everyone. It's a com owners. Oh, oh. <laughs> it just feels so good. It feels so good. And it seems to be strong. So. And the turn. This thing goes away. And what do you know? Corbel. Chink. Like this. Where do you go? This deck is uh, pretty good. <laughs> what do you want to ask me? What if I want to play the cat oven that can still be a hipster? And I tell them. Just put in enigmatic incarnation! <laughs> so I tell them. This deck, of course, is very much a cat oven, but we've changed a couple of key cards because we also have this. Enigmatic Incarnation. At the beginning of your answer, you may sacrifice another enchantment. If you do, search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost equal to 1, plus the sacrifice enchantments converted mana cost, put that card onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. This is a card amazing because all you need in this deck is essentially Mayhem Devils. Like, if you have 3 or 4 Mayhem Devils, you usually win because everything starts dealing 4 damage, no matter what you do. So you have Omen of the Forge, which is not the most typical card that you have in this deck. Uh, type of deck, but it's because an enchantment, it deals 2 damage something, it's often very useful. We have Trailer Breadcrumbs, which is very standard in these types of decks, and both of these can be sacrificed for Mayhem Devil. We have Treacherous Blessing, which can sacrifice to search for Questing Beast, and we have a Crowan War, which can sacrifice to search for Corvold. And also, of course, a Crowan War, when it takes something over, we can sacrifice that, we can eat it up with the Witch's Oven, and it just fits perfectly into the deck. It's a very simple deck, but it's super duper strong, of course, because it's Cat Oven, uh, but I think that the Enigmatic Incarnation is definitely a way you can go with this deck, so let's jump into the game. Mortunach will be our first opponent. I think this deck is gonna be really, really good. I mean, it's based on an archetype which is already very, very strong. And it's just taking that archetype and making it even stronger, maybe. <laughs> Me even more inconsistent. <laughs> Might be more accurate, we'll see. And yeah, this is Monsieur Pikachu. Train of crumbs. Wink. Wink, wink. We have a pretty good ammo, actually. Mayhem Devil next turn. Mm, and then we can Fabled Passage. Okay, Mortenach, Bond of Flourishing. Of a skydiver, of course. <laughs> Makes complete sense. Done with Mayhem Devil. Best the down. The down. That gets true feed. I will find a basic. Uh, weird. And then next time we can just go Corvo. That's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Shrink. 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 And this thing can go. And we do a third. Perfect. Perfect. Corvold's in here. Corvold's in here. Corvold. 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 Okay. okay. Well, in that case. Oh. <laughs> well, that looks pretty sweet to me. If you ask me, that looks uh, pretty amazing. Meow, meow. And the turn. This thing goes. Mayhem Devil. <laughs> okay. Up, up, up. Punishment. Punishment, Mordenach. <laughs> Should I kill this first? Did a mistake there. A little bit of a mistake, Lakey. Mortenach. Leyland Prowler, of course. Proud owner of a Prowler. And then... Out of removal. Oh! Oh! Deal one damage. Smack it. Darn this. Oh. Oh. Everyone's like, I hate this combo. Seen it a million times. It's not even a combo. It's a combo. <laughs> It's a combo, everyone. 
It's a come on hers. Oh, oh. <laughs> it just feels so good. It feels so good. And it seems to be strong. So. And the turn. This thing goes away. And what do you know? Corbel. Chink. Like this. What do you know? This deck is uh, pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't good before. It just goes on overdrive when you have this thing also in the deck. It just finds you everything you need. The Muff Puff. It's our next opponent. I think. I think we're gonna get the diamond today. I think. And then he was greeted by this. And that didn't stop him. He was a man of no stoppage. I have no stoppage. You have stoppage? Oh, you have stoppage. There's scrub. Put this down. We're gonna lose a lot of life though. Everything <laughs> costs two life, but. Hopefully it's not one red. Oh, Which is. Okay, well, at least. The but maybe I should have saved this, because we probably has no damage to it. Man, I think about it. Muff Puff. The manas. Yeah, that, that is probably a better thing to kill. In the retrospect. Schmerk. In retrospect, this is like a million times more dangerous. I had two of them. That's gonna be dan dangerous if we don't get our enigmatic or our uh, mayhem devil. Oh, you have a chrome. Sounds pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. This is gonna clear up his board. <laughs> nice turn. Yes. Yes, 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 that is an Akroan War. Inspiring veteran. Mm. <laughs> well, we can block with the Worthy Knight, and I think we need to. Can't take too much damage. Huh? Taking damage is dangerous. And then hopefully he doesn't have the removal speller. Everything will attack in. We're just gonna gamble. Put this down. Eat up the omen of the forge, I guess. Okay. Schmink! Open the forge. Eat it up. And get the island. Okay. Okay. Well, we have a blocker, but if he can kill our blocker, he wins. So, <laughs> little bit in trouble. Uh, also, if he has uh, the thing, that equipment thing. Six. I mean, not diving. Just very close about him. Let's see here. Three, four. It is eight. Oh, it is eight. That's too much. Though. Three. Oh, integrity. That's what it is. A man with integrity. Okay. And then at least we clear this up. And let's see. I think we need to sacrifice this. And pay the one manas. Ooh, a treacherous blessing versus mayhem devil. I think mayhem devil. I think. And then the mayhem devil. Bastard. Schmerk, schmerk. And then. I don't know. That's pretty good to just have there. As a backup. <laughs> it's a backup damage. In case we need it. And I'm done. Can't. Man, if you could like pay five or something to get the food, that would be pretty sweet. Now. Ooh, yes. Perfect. Perfect. I could ask for no nothing else. Nothing more. This is the perfect setup. The Muff Puffers. Let's hear. Trail goes. 
comes a man. Wink, wink. <laughs> Muff puff. It's nothing. Digs, digs, digs. These are these are gonna be dangerous. But the thing is, let's see. Six. We have four damage in our fabled passages. I think this is not enough. So we have to wait one more turn. Can't sacrifice another enchantment, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes. Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> the people tell me. Usually when I meet people. That's the standard phrase they throw at me. But I'm not so easily discouraged. I stay around. Examine them like this. Where are you? Where are you from? <laughs> Evolving wilds. Is this five color nib? It's the only deck I could think of that would run this. Could be. It's only been basic so far. Two manas. Creature. Counter spell. The noise. I think uh, the trail of crumbs is gonna go where I don't think uh, our uh, four lands or uh, two <laughs> forge. I mean, you can't even take them. So. The lands, is. Yeah, now we're stuck with pretty much nothing. Pretty much nothing. But thousand this, I guess. Help! One could call this maybe a shit hand. I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's a shit hand. Well, Razor, ah, these Omen of the Forge, they need to go. They need to go. Well, I guess I'll burn him in response to next turn if he has another. Luckily, we did draw. Uh, how many lands are you supposed to run on these decks? Around 24. I'm thinking now, maybe I should run 10. <laughs> Last game was had an insane amount of lands. We won anyways, but still. Uh, yes, we End of turn. Can sacrifice this to scry also. Maybe do that actually. Probably the first time this is gonna get used. Yep. Scry! <laughs> I'm very happy I scry. Because of course there were two more lands on top. Okay. Well, that's. that's cool. Just untapped. Back in. And yeah. That is. Uh, that's about it. Uh, it could have the thing counter unless I pay a little bit of mana, so probably this first thing. Negate could also be in his own, I guess. But he's probably thinking that I have something for three here that I don't want to play. Or does he know about <laughs> the fact that I don't have anything? Maybe he does. Always oh, thinking. He is thinking. Negate. Okay, call him familiar. Oh, we got him down to 12. That's kind of amazing, though. When you think about it. With only two call of a minute. That's all. That's all we've had so far. Would it be sweet to find a Corval or something? By beating this up. <laughs> dream Eater. My dream is to have enough mana to play a Dream Eater. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is exactly what we need. Uh, don't have blue though. I realize now. For some reason. Maybe I should have uh, kept that blue land. We had two blue lands on top, which I did not keep. Maybe it will come back to bite me. Fake of two manas. Thought erasure, maybe. Maybe I'll just go for a scry again with only the forge. <laughs> Luckily, he was landstall also. The double landstall. And we have called him familiar, so we slowly, slowly beating him down. Right? The familiars. Two manas. Genius end. Two yes. Uh, I think that's the response. And he can take one of those, that's fine. 
Wow, this guy has... Wait, he has Duress, Thought Erasure, and Agonizing Remorse? That's a lot of... Uh... <laughs> of course. Oh, but well, that's good. I'm not gonna say no to that thing. Let's drive it over to the porch also. And the piston. And the drill bit. <laughs> How do you win though? Is Dream Eater the only way of winning? Oh, the, yeah, okay, yeah, that. That's pretty strong. That's pretty strong. I don't think you want to use that ability there, but. Okay, gonna use this first. Sacrifice. Ooh, a Crowd War is pretty amazing. Let's keep that. And we turn this. Shove. Shove. And this. Bunk, bunk, bunk. And next time we kind of won. I mean, we might be able to interact with a Crowd War. I don't know. Mm. He could use the Doom Whisper ability also. Before we get to steal it. Let's lose one life. And then Doom Whisper. <laughs> well, you don't want to use that too much when we have two quarter of familiars and a witch's oven. <laughs> Drill a bit duress. Thought Ranger agonizing remorse. The deck of champions. A true Dimmer player. Fuck off. <laughs> it's a true Dimmer name. <laughs> okay, go on and smack. And uh, yeah. Eat this up. And return it. Oh, oh I pressed cancel on it. Got it. That was a lot of Discord in that last game. A lot of Discord. Um, opponent goes first. This looks like he's on the solid hand, I would say. The Witch's Oven. Probably gonna go turn two to not take too much damage with this hand. Turn three, Mayhem Devil. Um, yeah, it could be cool. The Drotwell. The rest. Okay, okay. Mm. Two manas. Leaking green. We could do this then. That. Which is oven. And then. Man, it's green. Okay, this could be. This could be a little bit dangerous. Let me put in this down. And. I mean. He has a fast starter. This could be dangerous. We kill this. Down on the creature. A little bit of a vulnerable spot there. A little bit. Smack, 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 smack. Hmm. Out of three. Fights. Uh, the Mayhem Devil. Well, the Mayhem Devil is gonna lose that fight, so. That's the distance. Pink! Pink, pink! Going first and having a mono creature is very strong in magic. Very, very strong. Put this down. And tapped. And passed on. Do, do, do. Gracious. Groom Gully. Generous. This card has just never worked out for me, but. Let's see. We paid three. Yeah, but we got four counters for this. Gracious Typhoon. Exile. Okay. Was in the voracious. I could. Ah, I just take it. I'm thinking I might block the groom gully, but I don't think that's the right choice. Man, <laughs> this is so, so damn close to very good. Do we now eat up a land to keep up the food? Let's see. Or do we eat up the witches oven? Even? 
No, because the witches are one we can use to kill something with. I think we eat up a lamb, or do we eat up the food? We don't have any weight. But the thing is, next turn we can go mayhem devil. Yeah, I think I eat up lamb. Because next turn we can go mayhem devil, land, and uh, let's see. We just gonna need one other shit. Face. Ooh, fabled passage. That's gonna be. Ooh, it's gonna be tight. <laughs> It's gonna be so tight! So tight! Okay, so we can... Mm, we might be able to block enough. Gracious Typhoon. Pelt Collector. Good old turn 6 Pelt Collector. Okay. Uh, whenever you become the target of a spell. Okay. A spell. He's not gonna get targeted by a spell, he's gonna get targeted by an ability, hopefully. And then... Uh, voracious Typhoon. I think I just take that damage. I could also sacrifice the Mayhem Devil, grow Corval and kill it. Oh. I think I do that. I think I did it. Heal one damage to his face. Grow Corvald. And block this. Flank! Go the Pelt Collector, unfortunately. Ooh, okay. So we have this. We have this. Can we get enough damage? We might be able to. Let's see your face. It's a counter. Ooh, a crow on board. That would have been so sweet last turn. Oh, okay. So we can eat up one of the foods. We can eat up one of the foods, go in with Corvald, or we can just block with Corvald. Uh, let's see. This doesn't have trample, though. We eat up one of these foods. We can go in with this also. 7, 8 if we go in with 9 damage with this. Mm, that's not enough. I think I keep the witch's ovens in hand. Hope that it doesn't have a targeting spell. And then I grow Corvald. To be able to block Gargos. How much can I grow it though? I can sacrifice this. This is 1. This is 8. I can grow... One with this, nine. But I can't go with the ten, unfortunately. So I can't block Gorgas with it, but I can block the Voracious either with it. Okay, well, we have to do this. Have to do it like this. Hmm. But if he has some way of targeting his own Gorgas, if he has any targeting spell on Gorgas, then we're in trouble. Then we're very much in trouble. Man, if I'd had the Akron War though one turn earlier. Oh, I'm taking that Gorgos. Oh, <laughs> oh that would have felt so good. Of course, I roll on games. It doesn't target though. Or the second part of the saga. We can. Hmm. Goes into the think tank. What is gonna... What is gonna throw in her? As... Gracious Hydra for four. And he fights... The Mayhem Devil, surely. No, he doubles the number. Okay. But that's... Uh, that's kind of good for us, I think. Would have been worse, probably, if you, had, if you attacked the Mayhem level. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Because now I can also steal his Voracious Hydra. That might be the better stealer. Over Gorgas. No attacks? Well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> I think we just go face, though. I don't think we care about the one. 
Because if we win, probably win with a flyer. Does, do these have, they have vigilance, but they have no way of blocking flyers. Trample, no, no, no. So if we do this, and we keep on doing this, keep on shogging at his face. Nine, can we deal five damage? Can we deal five damage? Now uh, we can at least take over. What do we take over? The Voracious Hider or the Gargus Vicious Watcher? Let's see here. We got the target of a spell, but that's the target of an ability. So I guess the Voracious Hydra is better to take over. So we can sacrifice. Let's see. This can go to 10. We can eat this up also. Let's see here. Eat up this. Then this is one damage. And it goes to 10. Let's see, we can sacrifice the Voracious Hydra. Then it goes up to 11. 11 plus 1 damage, that's 12. When it attacks in 13. Yeah, this should be lethal. Unless I miscalculated. <laughs> no, this is lethal. Oh! 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 <laughs> exactly lethal. Oh. oh! Batora! Man, that uh, last game was intense. For me, at least. I don't know how my opponent felt, but... It's a little bit intense. A little bit. Just a little bit. Boom, boom. Batora, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Trail of Crumbs, it is still good, I feel like. But it's not as good when you don't have the ghost to produce the food for and you don't have the complete ending. But I think I think it's still strong, and you can also sacrifice it to the enigmatic in this deck. <laughs> I'm just convincing myself that it's good. It is still good. It is still good. Hmm. I think the other trailer crops it. Probably a little bit ambitious, maybe. Okay. Well, this guy down. And hopefully, it doesn't have a removal spell. It probably has a removal spell. If it doesn't, it will change. Oh, it's getting targeted. <sighs> okay. Okay, this is the case. Hmm. I think we do this. And we pay for this. Ooh, Enigmatic is actually the best. The best pickup. It's untapped. Or oh, wait, we don't have blue. <laughs> Frackers. Frackers, we don't have blue. We can, though, eat up the trail of breadcrumbs with Corbin. That could be pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are we gonna try? Eat it up. Guard. This is. Uh, if he has another. Removal spell there. We're in trouble. Batura. Batura, Batura. Why did we take so much damage? I mean, he had the God Bones turn one. Turn two, Yorick. Yeah, we did have a little, little bit of a slow start. We have a train of breadcrumbs. And we went second. Corvald, you're being targeted by something. Well, never okay. Only Yorick. Yorick and God Bones. Uh, no looks. I will take one. Okay, okay. Well, this. Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> We're so close to dead. We could go with this also. Nah, I think I want. I think I want this first. Okay, well now we have Cat Oven. Cat Oven. But I can't play it all. I kind of want to attack him with Corvald also. Get rid of this. But if I attack him with Corvald, how much damage does he have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So he has exactly lethal then. 
That's a little bit bad. Mm. But I can play Cauldron Familiar plus Witches Oven if I attack in with Corvold, and that should probably keep me alive, I think. So I'll attack him with this. Sacrifice this. Counter on it. And. Take some damage. Witches Oven. And the Colin Familiar. And we're cutting it a little bit close. But I mean, the Corval can kill him, I feel like. If he gets a swing in. Unhindered there. A Yara is pretty good, though, in this situation. Keeping up a Yara or something. Whoa, Strider. Ooh, <laughs> now we can eat up everything. Get everything back. That's dangerous. That's very dangerous. Okay, goes in with that, goes in with that, goes in with that. Is that lethal? It kind of looks like lethal. Uh, block there. We can pay three to buff it up a little bit. Six, seven, eight. I think I'm dead. Sacrifice this. Schmack. Your card. We're so close. <laughs> we're so close, but I think in the end. Oh, we're like one. We're just one turn of killing him, remember? But. Oh. That's how it has to be, I guess. Four. How much damage can I deal? One, two, three. Oh, we can deal four. He can kill me there. He uses Wo Woe Strider on everything. If he does it in the correct order, he kills me. <sighs> God darn it! Uh, whatever. Uh, breathing. No, no, not breathing. <laughs> that can use for this. Ah, oh, whatever. Whatever. We're dead. Unless he doesn't figure out how to win with this. He could somehow misplay. And I win. If he, for instance, sacrifices. Let's see. Woe Strider, he needs to sacrifice. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, then we win. He doesn't have any blocker in the air. Right? So if we now... Oh, wait, that was the wrong land. That should have been the Fable Passage. Uh, let's see here. He has, doesn't have anything in the air. But he can sacrifice... Oh, he doesn't have to sacrifice this. Schmirk, schmirk. But I should have played... <laughs> I should have played Fable Passage. That was just no reason. Don't play the favorite passage there. He can use the bow strider on. Let's see here. Use this on. Call him familiar. And let's see here. Face. Oh! Wow. Oh! Felt good winning that game. Torch Corey. <laughs> I think we have to be a little bit careful not to uh, kill ourselves here. I think. This might be dangerous. Okay. Taking the damage. Wow, that's a lot of, a lot of landage. Let's see, we need a green for next time, so. Oh, we already had a green. Okay. Doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five, six. So on the Spitfire, that is dangerous. Unless we find a way to stop that. Uh, that's probably smart. Actually. That deals a lot of damage. Uh, yes, I mean, we don't have much we can do about this, so. Go in and uh, smack it. Torch Courier Shaun the Spitfire, that's. Pretty dangerous. Yeah, we are very, very close to that. We need to find Crone Wars Essential. That's the only way they can. What they can save us? Crone War? Please? Omen of the Forge. And almost kill us. 
or almost get him. Uh, but this is. Give this. We always have four lands in this <laughs> in this deck. We always overdraw lands every goddamn game. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Sauron. Okay, a game of night. Well, we'll play this. Tap it. Tap it. Tap taps. Tap it. Tap taps. And then we will block this. If we have to. Oh. <laughs> Is he really now? Oh, well, I'll look. I'll look for show. In this case. Mayhem Devil. Rawr. Rawr. It's a buff deck, it might be. Some the critics. Okay. Take a little bit of damage. Mm, would be sweet too. Get the enigmatic down, but I think we can get it down next time. We don't have any enchantments really enough. Except for enigmatic. We can actually sacrifice enigmatic to enigmatic to find our uh, our, our best. Okay. And the Sure. Sure, sure, sure. And uh, do the good old switcheroo. Let's do this thing. Triple draw. Ooh, 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 ooh. And tapped. And passed turn. What do we have for four, though? Do, do I have any creature for four? I think I have a creature for four. I think. Okay, that goes in. Interesting. Why did it not go in with this? We will stay with this. Because then we can play Corbold Fakers next turn. My turn. That's probably the best one. Play blue. Half point. Sacrifice this. Oh! Oh, perfect. <laughs> Corbold is pretty good. Corbold is pretty good. Sure. And I mean we can play the column from here at any point. Not need to play them now. Soren X D D D D D D D twenty three. Think this word ends for you, Mister. That's just how it is. That's the stage. Slaying fire. Four damage in stats. Sure. But I didn't think about this! <laughs> yep. And then in with everything. Block there. And boy, does it feel good to play this deck. Wow. Let's go pretty well right now. Let's say. The worst of hands. <laughs> he seems pretty dead. Uh, we'll Take you and smack you. Heal the damage. Draw the cards. Sacrifice. Business. Otaske, the next opponent. Is he gonna fall? Of course he's gonna fall. <laughs> he's gonna, of course, gonna, gonna die. And we're never gonna see him again. He's gonna go so quick. He's gonna. That's what we're gonna defeat him. We were wondering how are we gonna defeat this guy? 
with a bada bading tang tonk. I mean, I mean the, the manas is not that horrible honestly in this deck because almost nothing requires two manas or uh, two different colors or two of the same color. <laughs> Rains, we're doing this again. This thing, right? Oh, and now I start for the wrong color also. Uh, that was of course intentional. <laughs> that uh, misplay there was of course intentional. I was just testing that. See if you were awake. You seem to be reasonably awake. Awake at a decent level. Underworld dreams. Uh, it's gonna deal some damage. Whenever I draw a card, that's actually gonna deal a lot of damage. It's very good against this deck. Very, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean. I don't want to use that, but a little bit stuck on Lancer. A little bit stuck on Lance. If he plays that uh, that five mana, dude, we're pretty much done. Eh? Good match. Otaske, does he have it? Plays nothing, nothing other one dreams. Well, it works pretty well when I have absolutely nothing. Okay, and the swamp, and the two damage to the face. And my turn. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But now we can actually use his grab presence against him. Grab presence. Because I have a swamp. Smack. Nah, I'm gonna do no damage. Thank. Well, I'm down a little bit, but still, I'm very afraid of that uh, five mana dude. If he finds it somehow, somehow, some way. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Google Bordello playing in the background. Be wondering. We're definitely gonna make a Underworld Dream stack at some point. I wonder how. Though. What's the best way of doing that? There's the other. There's the uh, five mana planeswalker also, which can combo with this, of course. We will resolve those, yes. I think we're attacking with Dread Presence first. That's probably the best way. And then, play you with the Dread Presence. Oh, I forgot about <laughs> the fact that Corval is kind of dangerous for us now. Um, yeah. Bowl as a citadel. Oh, <laughs> he could get a flurry of spells up now. He could kill us easily. We could kill ourselves easily with this Corval. This very dangerous attack in minute. Very, very dangerous. Did he hit a swamp on top or what? What's, what's going on? Sacrifice 10 non land permanents. It's a little bit away. We need to play that at least. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna take some damage. Right? <laughs> We're so close to them. Uh, let's see. We can play the Mayhem Devil. And then we can... I mean, we kind of have to do this now. We're kind of locked into doing it. Or pay, sure. Uh, and this actually gives us some life, so I think we need this. Game 3 life! And at least we took... Let's see here. Uh, we sacrificed the trail of breadcrumbs, yes! Deal one more damage. Oh, we're one off. <laughs> wait, do we have... Oh wait, we have Colin from the way. Oh! <laughs> that was tight! Top! Member shout out! Member, member shout out! Thank you everyone so much for watching. There's so many new members. Thank you everyone so much. A special thank you, of course, too.
Oh dear, Mamba! Mamba! Here they come! Oh! <laughs> Blue Dragon, Adam Alexis, Magic Pistol Man, Simon Lauer, Rodney Cox, Herman M. The Soft Pillow, Snick, Shamanic Spencer, Hofsty, Alex, Mike, Nathaniel, Nissan, Laser Set, The Stun, Nick, 234, Jeff Henry, leading into it. Michael W, Poké U, Matthias Pauli, Topless Investments, Chorus 11, 07, W, Lutz, 978, PE Label, Peter Gold, Sean Stevens, Gabriel Juvenal, Tandex, Wisa, Cutilated, 23, Way, Mesomach 1, Ye Old Basses, Dingo Scrub, Crew, The Barbarian, Link is Weak, Growing Bar, 2002, 4K Television, You Light, Moonlight Star, Drake Edge, 2000, Dave Steer, Jurassic Fart, The Swamp King, Rage Not, Simple Human, Ballas, Ivan Up, John Domian, Gesusaki, 077, Sam Williams, on Ellie Curtis, Noah B. H., MC Hermes, Faceix, uh, Fumiaki Kinoshita, Acres Ascending, Jacob, Wookie Floren, Dam Drone, Stephen Drominski, Strange Bronte, Donkey Kong, Sky Surfer Zero, Tim Dot and Jake, Dan Lead, Santa, John, Stan, Eric Bakken, The McDunkin, Chloe, Rob Akuna, Chase Close, John Lacava, Ayayay, Honsa Kos, Gingai, Michael Cupido, Agony Reborn, Ramen Noodles for Me, Nicolas Sanotti, Nethervex, Andrew Blank, Aaron Noble, Adam Alexis, Batsuma, Brandon Dobbs, Callas is Missed, Colo Balumbo, Chloe, Coop Cooper, Dan Goodsell, David Hanel, David Newman, DBK Drummer, Dingus Crop, Dr. Jaden, Drew Styles, Eventum Tantum, Freeman Stepson, Jeff Georgia, Infinite Draw, Javier Diaz, Kason, Magneto, Mrs. Mrs. Smith, Neo Terror, Ninja Longdom, Arango Mango, Piotr Stalorsk, Pote, um, Prince Mok, Magok, Esquire, Rainbow Cake, Search, Karamaru, Super, Super Noodle 7, Wonder Bread, X Covenant X, Mythic Gaming, Musketeer, Mr. Thule, Tom Q, the Michael, Robert Lewis, Yoma Saho, Adam Ruth, Rhett Khan, But With Ass, Barbara McKenley, Name the Epithet, The Lurgarf, Stricker Mike, Toffer Scott, 7 Guys 777, Brian Wood, Postal Guru, Anthony Dibble, Mentosaurus, Katie Griggs, Rufino, A. Oregano, Big Bob MTG, Jack Rian, Patrick Hennig, Liquid E, uh, Ben Jones, uh, Jose De Jesus, Regalado, Aguayo, Mark Logalo, Cracker GF, Ian Moss, Michael Cupido, Juan Tu Ying, Vincent Baudet. You guys are amazing. If you also want to become a dark disciple and help rule the underworld, then check out the join button next to the subscribe button or check out my Patreon. Link in the description. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Also, thank you to the Bad Jonas of Patreon. Give me the likes on down here. Thank you.